It is episode three, season one of the YTCN, the YouTube Cruise News news show where we talk about what everybody else is talking about in the online cruise community. This week's edition features toilet flushers, tracking technology, a private island treat that doesn't cost you more to eat, and ends with an update on my personal journey to becoming a ship's captain. And I know you all know this by now, but I just feel better mentioning it. So yeah, check it out. She's still hanging around. Chris Wong Vlogs, who is actually a Royal Caribbean crew member, took to the internet on January 24th to let us know what life is like on the Royal Caribbean Quantum of the Seas, which at the moment is the only ship from Royal Caribbean cruising with passengers. As I'm sure you can imagine, and as I experienced on my three cruises during Schmovid times last year, uh, masks are required, social distancing, you have to make reservations for the restaurants and for the shows. None of that is surprising. However, Chris reports that Royal is requiring passengers to wear an additional bracelet anytime they leave their cabin. On first look, you might think that these are the Royal Wow bands that are provided on many ships that you can use to open your cabin door and to use as the wireless payment. Uh, system. However, these are not wow bands. These are a separate kind of technology that is being used to track the passenger's movements on board to A, make sure that the number of passengers in certain areas remains under capacity, and B, if someone were to get sick on board, then they can see who that person came in close contact with. So they're not wow bands. They're actually tracelets. That's what Chris called them, tracelets. I like that. Check out Chris Wong vlogs for more. As we all know, most cruise ships around the world are currently out of commission, and it's gonna stay that way for the next several months. But if you thought the ships were just sort of parked there and then the last person out closes the doors and turns off the light, it's not like that. Chris Frame goes into more detail about what kind of crew has to be on board in his video from January 22nd. And surprisingly, it's not only decided by the size of the ship, it also depends on where the ship is registered. There has to be a certain amount of crew on board even if there are no passengers on board. There's still a lot that has to be done in daily maintenance to keep the ship in shape for whenever things start up again. Did you know that there are people at the moment who their job is just to go up and down the hallways, go into the cabins and flush the toilets and turn on the water? Yeah, so my question for you is, imagine you get a call from your favorite cruise line and they say, listen, the, there's really nothing going on on the ships right now, but we are inviting a, a certain amount of people to come on board and from nine to five, you just have to go up and down the hallway and flush toilets and the rest of the time you can enjoy, you know, what there is to enjoy on the ship. What I wanna know is, would you say yes to that? Let me know in the comments below. And sail on over to Chris Frame's YouTube channel to learn more about who is required to be on what ship at the moment. It had been a while since anybody had heard from her, but Amy over at Sea Cruisers is back online with regular vlogs and updates on her YouTube channel. The latest upload is a day on Coco Key or Coco Cay, Royal Caribbean's private island in the Bahamas that used to be a nice, tranquil, tropical paradise, and now it's a gigantic loud water park. In her video from January 16th, Amy takes you on one of her trademark, friendly strolls around the island, points out the highlights, talks about the activities on the island and what they cost, and yeah, just about everything costs extra now on Coco Cay. We visited Coco Key back on our very first cruise on the Monarch of the Seas, and back then, the only food that was offered was like this family-style uh, barbecue buffet. But, as Amy discovers in her video, they are now offering made-to-order food that's included in the price of your cruise, including burgers, sandwiches, and mozzarella sticks and funnel cakes. And I think Amy was just as surprised and happy as I would be when she discovered that. Coco Cay, okay, take, take me, away. me away. I'm sure most of you know her channel, but if you don't, it's Sea Cruisers. Okay, now a little update about my life because <laughs> It is my channel. By the way, I'm, I have a window right here and it's just started snowing. And that's the cat that you hear. She's trying to climb under a blanket on top of the chair and she succeeded. As I mentioned in the first Sunday Sofa Time of 2021, I am currently in the process of going to school to get my ocean going vessel license so I can pilot a ship out on the ocean. No, not a cruise ship. 
a small yacht or sailing vessel up to 20 meters long. Last week, as part of Marcus's birthday celebration, we went up to the coast and walked on the beach and went to a few marinas to look at ships. There was one ship that we were particularly interested in and we did get the chance to actually go up onto it and, and take a look around. And I quickly noticed that this was just uh, not enough ship for us, even though it was very well maintained and within our budget. For anyone who knows anything about sailing vessels, it was a fellow ship 33 with a center cockpit and an aft cabin that you can only reach from the cockpit. So kind of like the Halberg Rossi family. And I have seen 10 meter yachts with layouts that sort of work for us, but just the center cockpit on this ship took up so much room in the salon. And even little me, I felt like I was walking through a dollhouse inside the ship. If we do buy a ship, it may be a 10 meter ship, but that one just definitely not the right one for us. I will periodically keep you posted on this journey and if you are someone with sailing experience please get in touch so we can talk about it and there you have it for episode three season one of ytcn the youtube cruise news news show you can check back here on the very unofficial travel guides on sunday where i'm going to be showing you around the teeny tiniest cruise ship cabin i've ever experienced hope to see you there 